Alexa, stop. Morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have missed you guys so much. If you did not know, we went to America at Disney for 16 days. So we were there for actually quite a long time. There is a whole video on it and there is a video which is part of our engagement. It's wow, so many comments from you guys. I love you so much. I wanted to tell you like straight away, but YouTube, you have to create a whole freaking video. We did do a post on it, but I'm rambling. Today's video is just basically what I'm eating over the next few days. I'm off to London this weekend to see my best friend and I'm so freaking excited. I have not seen her in so long. So I'm staying with her for a couple of days and I'm just gonna kind of shit. It's, it's, it's just how you create balance. When I was away, I'll actually pop a picture on the screen with some of the comments that I received. And they were really, really fucking annoying. I will not lie to you. People being like, you can't eat that because you're healthy. This is, I was holding a burger. I was eating a freaking burger and chips. And people were like, you can't eat that because you're healthy. You're setting a bad example. You shouldn't be doing that. You're promoting eating disorders. It was awfully bizarre. I follow more of like an 80-20 rule with food. And I can eat a lot of food because I'm running so much. My ultra is in less than six, no, less than seven weeks. And I kind of just want to do it now. I just want to like, I just want to do it and get it done because the training is really, uh, really hard. But I can eat, I can afford to eat a lot of food because I'm expending so much energy. And the reason I follow 80-20 is because most of the time I prefer eating healthy food. Healthy food is nutritionally dense. So all your veggies, protein, carbs and fats, a mixture of everything, but going more down the route of nutritionally dense foods makes me perform better, it makes me feel better. I prefer those foods. So I fall more than 80 20, which you'll see actually over the next couple of days. It's just like a usual morning. Wow, it's so full, you can't see it. Black coffee, I have a client checking day today. I just gonna share with me. I'm gonna share with me. Why are you tired? I'm just out off on a run. Says as I usually do like speed work, the tempo work, everything like that, but I'm just gonna go out and do a run and like the next few weeks the speed work isn't really gonna be there. I'm more so just going off heart rate, taking them super, super steady and just working on that aerobic base. I know that's the thing that's gonna get me through the end parts of my ultra. And then after my ultra there's gonna be a different focus and things like that. So yeah, going out for like maybe 13, 14K. It's literally pissing it down, which is not ideal. Hi, so I'm back from my run. It was pretty hard. My heart rate isn't doing bits. Of I mean, it's like really spiking. It might be jet lag, not 100% sure. So yeah, that was, just did 18K. And then this is the bowl. Look at that. I've literally put like a ridiculous amount of cream in. Can you see it? Oh, here it is. It's just like made like a big pool. But yeah, the oat bowl is back. I've put like more cream and wow, that was close. Peanut butter and almond butter in it just to get my calories in. My appetite was really weird after America. But yeah, just getting back into the swing of things. Hello everyone. It is Friday and I'm doing my long run today instead of Sunday because obviously I'm off to London. And I, I don't want to be doing like a long run when I'm with Fliss. I want to spend time with her. I feel so much better today. My heart rate's been at 145 and I've done 17k. Oh god, I can't tell you how much of a relief that is. I just feel, oh, 18k. I just feel more like myself. I am back from my run and wow, I cannot balance you. <laughs> Whoa, hey. Oh my god, that was so much better than yesterday. So I've, I'm doing, I did like a double back-to-back -back long run. I'm so pleased with that run, guys. Like the difference of that, my mindset from yesterday, my heart rate from yesterday today is unfathomable. My heart rate today is really 35k, so I basically nearly did like double. My heart, average heart rate was 151. Yesterday average was 156 and at the end like last 10k my heart rate was peaking at like 168 I just feel so much better. I don't know what it was Maybe it's exactly a week since I've been home from America. So I'm exactly over my jet lag I don't know what it is. One of the questions that I actually noticed that I was getting loads from the Proposal video with Ben and the Epcot Disney food animal kingdom everything was how good it was to see me not track I follow a super balanced diet. I believe you should enjoy the good shit in life. 
and have it when you want to have it but then also understand there's there's certain times when it's like everything in moderation that was the best holiday of my life and it was our engagement and it was magical and i i've i don't think i've ever tracked when i've been on holiday it's just personal it's something i do but then also to put it into perspective i have been eating in a surplus as in like over 2,800, 3,000 calories a day for a while because of my running. So I already was expending so much energy. And then you go away and yes, you're on holiday, but we were doing like 20, 30K steps a day. I was doing 8K runs in the heat and we were doing gym sessions every other day. So I'm an active person. I enjoy being active. I like it. It's not that I'm forced to do it on holiday. I just actually enjoy it. And a lot of people do. So that is absolutely fine. My point is you gotta have balance you want to be able to enjoy the good shit and then have healthy food and nutritionally dense food as well but i just want to show you this as well this is super cute this is one of the new paws bralettes from gymshark they're my favorite you guys will know like i'm quite flat chested love it love having small boobs so they're perfect they've no padding in i wear them all the time so i'm traveling to london soon i just probably need to sort out this and yeah i'm gonna take you along just show you like what we eat what we get up to and i'm well excited i came to London this morning and completely forgot to vlog i actually forgot to take my camera out when i was with fliss but we have been shopping got some things for fliss's baby and then we went to see matilda which is absolutely amazing like literally incredible we've had a prep we've had a croissant we've had coffee we've had like a cake thing Again, I forgot to vlog everything, but I've just been enjoying time with her. I've not really had my phone out. But we are at Peter Express now, gonna get dinner, so I will remember to show you dinner. So, we are in Peter Express, and I just said to Fliss, like from reading the menu, they do actually have the calories, but you literally, you don't even, you don't, oh, look at the little, little. You know what I mean? <laughs> How do you do the, go on, yes. <laughs> Um, they have the calories on menus, but you literally don't even notice it. And I think that's a really strong place to like think about it. But also, we did a podcast on this, so go and look at the podcast. There is the garlic mushroom and olives. See, I don't like olives. I can't believe you don't like olives. I know. Has it got a seed in I don't hate it as much as I thought. I don't love it. They're quite um, vinegary. This is my pizza. Went for goat's cheese and red onion and spinach. What did you get? Ham, ham, mushroom and olive. Mushroom and olive. Ooh. Yum. We are back home and it was such a wonderful day. I'm, I'm really full off that pizza. That was actually really quite filling. I was just gonna chill. We'll probably have some chocolate because Fliss has a dairy milk bar, which is literally this big. And then tomorrow, I didn't train today, by the way. I just completely took a full rest day. We basically probably hit around 12K steps today as well, which was quite nice. And then tomorrow we're gonna do a gym session and then I'm gonna just do a 5K run at the gym. And um, that's just so I can hit over like a 70K week running, which is really good actually for my first like full week back. I'm really happy with that. But yeah, it's been a great day. Hi everyone. Hiya. <laughs> Hiya. We have come for a roast dinner. I did a gym session this morning and like a 3K run on the treadmill, but the, my collaboration on the treadmill versus my Garmin is completely off, so it's a little bit off. Went to a new gym, put a post on Instagram about gym anxiety, go and have a look, I'll leave that there. But yeah, we're having a roast. It's actually a really nice day. We're sat under like, oh, this is what I need to get actually. You know that plastic thing? I need that for ours, you know, because when it rains, I don't. Corrugated plastic. Corrugated plastic. But yeah, I'll show you the roast. I've got a YouTube channel. I've got a YouTube channel. Oh, like the East Lake, uh, what do you do? Pepper and water, pepper and Yeah, so this, this vlog is basically how I eat a balanced diet. Oh, as in, cool. I don't have like the strict, I'm very healthy because I prefer healthy food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, this is more so how I follow more at 80 20, like 20% 20 of the time. Yeah, sure. I have this and then like the pizza and chocolate and that sort of thing. Nice. Mmm, that actually looks really good. The carrots look great. That's good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. So it is Monday. Early yards. Oh, I had the most wonderful weekend. I really, really, really did. If you kind of want to know what I eat 
more so in the week now. I've done like a full week of food video before, so definitely go and watch that. And then this was like more so like weekend, I guess, in terms of how I balance different things and everything like that. But I really hope it was helpful. A little bit of an insight. Comment below what else you want to see is literally now six weeks or something to my 100k ultra. If you do want to donate, I'm 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 doing it for breast cancer. If you want to donate anything, I have left the link below. It's always in my videos, and I appreciate if you do because I want to raise as much money as possible. But yeah, have an awesome evening or day, wherever you are in the world, and I'll wait. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.